Hi everyone, welcome back. This is CC Cycle 1 and Week 18 Memory Work Ideas. We are wrapping up the last week of our third quarter already. And this week for math, we are learning the area of a triangle. So the area of a triangle equals one half the base times the height. And we're gonna add this to our tune of all of our area formulas that we have been singing and learning about this past few weeks. Uh, to the tune of 99 bottles. We started with the area of a rectangle equals length times width. The area of a square equals the length of its side squared. This week is the area of a triangle equals one half base times height. And that is our math for this week. Next week we will add on the area of a circle and that will wrap up our whole tune for our area formulas. For English, we are moving on to our next set of helping verbs, which are should, could, would. And so we have been singing this to a combination tune as well, this old man. So we first had helping verbs are do, does, did, has, have, had, may, must, might. This week is should, could, would. And then next week, shall, shall, will, can. So this week is just should, could, would. And that is our English. For history, we are mixing it up this week. We've been doing a lot of hand motions and so I thought it would be fun to change it up a little bit. And so we're gonna use our laminated US maps that we have for our community. And I'm going to um, circle on those maps the areas that we had, the Hopewell, Adena, and the Mississippian civilizations for mound building. And we will use Play-Doh or something like that to have the kids build mounds in each of those areas on the map as we sing and listen to the tune that CC provides for this week's history. If you want to use hand motions, however, you can also um, maybe do these because I was originally thinking of hand motions before I decided to switch it up. So here are some hand motions that I came up with. So circa 1000 BC to AD 1450. Here I'm just doing the sign for 14. So circa 1000 BC to AD 1450, three North American, this is the sign for America, for North, we're just gonna move it up North. So three North American mound building civilizations were the Adena, A for Adena, Hopewell, H for Hopewell, and the Mississippians, M for Mississippians. And so those are two options that you could use for history. For Latin, we're going to do the same thing we did last week, but we are switching it up so that the next half of the class has a turn to lead our sleigh ride. And if you didn't see what we did last week, I'll just mention that here. We are singing it to the tune that CC provides, which is the Jingle Bells tune, the first part of that, dashing through the snow. And so as we do that and we sing all of our noun endings for our second declensions, we pretend to put on gloves, scarves, beanies, boots, all the things, and then um, half the class gets a turn to lead us in a sleigh ride all around the class as we sing the noun ending. So, is, or, os, e, o, um, o, and then e, orum, is, os, is, and that is how we do Latin. So this week we're just going to let the next half of the class have a turn to participate in leading that. For a timeline, we have Cherokee, Trail of Tears. This is the sign for Cherokee for Native American. It represents the feathers, F, and the uh, war paint that they wore on their face. So Cherokee, Trail of Tears. Then we have US, take a W, Westward Expansion. Then we have Marx publishes the Communist Manifesto. And for that, we're going to do some writing like we're for the Marx Publishing and the Communist Manifesto. We're going to do our arms like this. This is a common salute there. So yeah, Communist Manifesto. Then we have the Compromise of 1850. So we're gonna do the same sign that we did last week, which where we're thinking, and then it meets in the middle for agreement. So right here, the Compromise of 1850 and the Dred Scott decision. And then we have the US restores trade with Japan. So we're gonna do the sign for US again, and then restores trade with Japan. And this is the outline of Japan. Then we have British. This is the sign for British Queen Victoria, V for Victoria. British Queen Victoria's rule over India. So the sign for rule here, we are doing like we're having a controlling a horse's reins here. And then India, we're gonna go like that. 
And then for the last one, we have Darwin publishes the origin of species. So we're going to go like we're writing and then the same sign for origin that we use in the beginning of the year where you take your finger and like you're starting an engine, like a key in the engine. So that's for origin. For geography, we are moving on to Mesoamerica regions. And so we're going to take out our US laminated maps and we're going to do some drawing in these regions. So the Gulf of Mexico will draw some water waves in there. For the Yucatan Peninsula, we'll take a dry erase marker and we will outline that peninsula with a certain color. Then we have the Omex, the Mayans, and the Aztec civilizations. And for those, we're gonna draw in the same signs that we have been signing with our hands the last few weeks. So for Omex, we'll have O's. For Aztecs or Mayans, we'll have the uh, pyramids like that. And then the Aztecs will have a triangle. And if you want to put this to a tune, I thought it'd be fun to do it to, uh, hey Macarena, hi. So it sounds like, Gulf of Mexico, Yucatan Peninsula, Omex, Mayans, and the Aztecs. Gulf of Mexico, Yucatan Peninsula, Omex, Mayans, and the Aztecs. So you can sing that tune as you do uh, all the drawing and the pointing out of all the different locations. And then last but not least, we have science. And for science, we have what are four types of ocean floor. And for this, we're going to put it to a tune as well. And... Um, not that it has anything to do with the ocean, but it does match the syllables in what we're learning for ocean types. We are putting this to the tune of Father Abraham, and it sounds like this. Four types of ocean floor, continental shelf, abyssal plain, mid-ocean ridge, and trench. Four types of ocean floor, four types of ocean floor, our continental shelf, abyssal plain, mid-ocean ridge, and trench four types of ocean floors. If you want to, you can also do that to motions. And I just thought we would do continental shelf that slopes down. So continental shelf. And then we have abyssal plain, which is that flat part down there. Then you have the mid ocean ridge and trench. Those are the motions that I thought of. And last but not least for review this week, we are going to play some bingo. And uh, because this is a great week where we have lots of information from the last five, six weeks to cover. And so I got this from CC Connected. They have many different options of bingo review games on CC Connected. I will link this one below because this is the one we happen to use here in our house. And for bingo, you can, um, on this particular one, you can indicate which weeks are for each column. And then there are multiple different boards that have the subjects in different placements so that it's, you know, kind of adds variety for who would win. And you could use anything from uh, pieces of Skittles or chocolate chips to using, putting this in a sheet protector and using dry erase markers. Or this week, what we're going to do is use some of these little hearts that I have cut out from previous Valentines here at our home. And they're just little, little cute hearts. You can do this multiple ways. Whatever tokens work for you and your group, um, do that. And that's what we're gonna do for review. So I hope that you all have a great week 18 and a great break since this is our last week of the quarter. And I look forward to seeing you on week 19 when we return. Bye.